So what is going on everyone, Fernando Silva here with another video and round of applause to everybody that went to go watch my latest video on the Microsoft Office application for the iPad because it's doing really well and you guys seem to really enjoy that. But at the same time, there was a lot of follow-up questions with that review. So what I wanna to do today is answer all those questions because the first time around I give you guys a 10,000 foot overview of exactly what you get with that application. But now I wanna answer some of those questions that you guys had like can it multitask? Do I need to use the other applications anyway? Can I just use the Microsoft Office app now instead of using Excel, PowerPoint, and Word as a dedicated application? So these are all questions that I'm gonna answer. So without further ado, let's check this all out. So I wanted to show you guys exactly what's going on with Microsoft Office, you know, holistically. Because last time when we went over it, it was mostly just to kind of touch on the, the surface level thing. So the things that we wanted to see right away. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys everything that you would want to know from an iPadOS perspective with this application. So we're going to talk about multitasking, making sure that the cursor works correctly, seeing what those other options are, like the plus button on the bottom right and things like that. And also we're going to find out if we need the actual dedicated applications in order to run this stuff, right? So first off, let's just open Microsoft Office. This is the new Microsoft Office Hub, if you guys haven't seen the last video. And the first thing that you see right away is that it does work with 13.4 cursor support and up, right? So you see that the cursor is going over the, the buttons, it's kind of taking everything over. You can click on everything. It even hovers over the FR right here on the top right. So keep that in mind and be aware that that does work and that's always a good thing, right? And then if I want to continue with that 13.4 cursor support, even within the Microsoft Office app, right? Because if I move out of here, you can see that the Microsoft Office app is still running. So I'm using Microsoft Word through the Microsoft Office application and I'm not using the dedicated application itself. And you can see that the cursor works the same exact way. So you see that it takes over all the different buttons, things like that. You see that it hovers over text correctly. So you can see that the cursor turns into that pointer now, into that long kind of stick. I don't even know what to really call it. But that's what you have in terms of cursor support with Microsoft Office. So now if we want to try multitasking with another Microsoft Office, I have to grab this one and you can see that it's not letting me, right? It's not letting me drop this anywhere. So that means that two instances of this Microsoft application is not possible. So the next thing that I do want to try out is see if it works multitasking with other applications. So if I use Safari, it does work that way. So that is exactly what you're dealing with when it comes to multitasking. So you can't multitask two versions of Microsoft Office at the same time, but you can multitask, let's say with Microsoft Word and Microsoft Office. So that is what we got in terms of multitasking support for this application. And just to give you guys a nice little rundown of exactly what you guys get, especially if you missed my last video, this Microsoft Office Hub is actually great in terms of being able to view all of your shared company data or any of your shared data in general on the Microsoft ecosystem you can all view it from here. So you can see that on here, I have all my different company folders. I can, I can open things in PDF format. This is what it looks like. So it's opening, this is just a random sample contract. You can annotate it live with the pencil. If I just click on one and then start writing around, subscribe. We're making that two words because why not, right? So the ability to edit PDFs on the fly is awesome. So I really think they're giving Adobe a run for their money because now you can do everything that you would want with a PDF through the Microsoft Office application. So first off, it's a hub for all of your different files in the Microsoft suite, but then also they added these new tools, which are awesome. The ones that really jump out at me are the scan to PDF and then also PDF to Word. So those are two things that I use on a daily basis. I usually get a bunch of resumes that get sent over to me on PDF. I have to convert them into a Word file to then format those resumes correctly. So I use PDF to Word all the time and I had to use it with a different third party tool that I found online. But now I can just do it right here. For instance, if I go here, we'll click on the sample contract, we'll convert it from a PDF to a Word document. Let's see what it does because I did add those little writings. And you can see that the actual ink is gone, but you can see that the rest of it is totally fine. And it's an editable Word document right in front of you. And again, you're not using the Word application itself, you're using Microsoft Office and you're using Word through Microsoft Office. So those are some of the tools that you get. You also get a QR scanner, a form creator, and then your PowerPoint rehearsal coach, which is a way just to time your PowerPoint presentation precisely from a audio and voice perspective. So if you wanna only spend 30 seconds on one slide, but a minute and a half on the other slide, you can time that out by rehearsing with the coach. So that is Microsoft Office in a nutshell. And then another question that everybody had was, do you need the Microsoft Office application? So like the dedicated PowerPoint, dedicated Excel, dedicated Word? And the answer is no, you don't, you do not need to actually have those because you can access them all through here. Would I recommend doing that? 
it's really up to you if you're totally okay with the functionality on here because I don't think it's limited at all. So if I click on one of these, it, you seem to have the entirety of Microsoft Word laid out right in front of you. There doesn't seem to be anything missing. So I do think that this is a viable option. I did think that maybe it would be a little bit watered down and you would need the main applications, but I really don't think you do. So one other one that I do wanna open is a PowerPoint presentation because I wanna see how that looks like in terms of editing through the Microsoft Office application. So for instance, let's go with this one right here. It's opening it up and you can see that it literally feels and looks like PowerPoint, but you're still in Office, as you can see right there. I haven't left the Microsoft Office application. But again, if you do need the multitasking, so for instance, if you need two PowerPoint presentations open at once, you can do that with the PowerPoint app, but you can't do that with the Office app. Now you can have one PowerPoint open with the Office app and then one with the PowerPoint app. But again, you can also already have two instances of Microsoft PowerPoint or Excel or Word with the dedicated application. You just can't do it for some reason with Microsoft Office. So that is Microsoft Office in a nutshell. I just wanted to share these other questions that people had. If you have any more questions, and if there are enough of them, I'll make a third follow-up video with this one because I do think that this is a very, very important application because it finally came dedicated to the iPad. And the one more thing I want to check was to see what this plus button does. And basically, it does what that plus button does in Google Drive. It lets you start a new Word, Excel, PowerPoint, maybe take a camera or hit the notes too. So if I want to do Word, scan text, do a blank document, create from template. So again, just quick, easy access to be able to start documents, edit documents, move them around, email them. It's a beautiful thing to see. And then the final thing that I did want to check is that can you share out of here? And yes, you can. You can share just like you would with any other Microsoft application. So in my opinion, Microsoft Office is a full-fledged Microsoft suite for the three main applications. So that's PowerPoint, Excel, and Word. All the other applications, you can't really use them through here. You can open PDFs and edit PDFs, so that also works. But you can't go to like a Teams chat through here, for instance. You can't, yes, you can access your OneDrive, which is also good, but things like Teams, your Notes application, that's, a, you know, OneNote is a totally different application that's not in here. So keep that in mind. This is just for your main Microsoft suite applications, like the OG, OG applications. But that's going to do it for this view. Let's go back to the normal view. So that is pretty much gonna do for this video, everyone. Like you guys saw with the Microsoft Office application itself, there are a few limitations on the software side, like the same instance of the same application. You can't multitask with two versions of that same app, but there are workarounds and a lot of the questions were answered. Like you don't really need to use the other applications, but I like to have them there anyway. So hopefully this video kind of shed some light on all, all the questions that everybody had on the follow-up to the last video because I think the Microsoft Office application itself is actually great. I love the UI, I love how it looks, I love the functionality of it, the addition of those PDF scanners and PDF to Word and vice versa. All those tools built into the Microsoft Office suite is an amazing tool to have and just makes it a lot easier whenever you're going through and working on whatever project you're working on. So overall, it gets my recommendation. If you're a Microsoft user and you have an iPad, this application needs to go on your iPad, especially, again, if you're already paying for your subscription. It's a free application. But that's pretty much going to do it. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out channel sponsor Paperlike if you guys want to protect your iPad Pro or any iPad, therefore, from a screen perspective, make sure it's protected with a Paperlike screen protector. First link in the description below. That's going to do it.